hello everyone welcome in my channel so through this video i will explain about sap cloud application studio so kindly subscribe my channel and share it sap cloud application studio is a software development kit for the developments of the cloud based application like c4c so first of all we need to set up sap cloud application studio in our system the current version of sap cloud application studio is 19.05 19 means year and 05 is month sap cloud application studio is an id based on microsoft visual studio we can download it from sap marketplace so during setup you will find this kind of a screen where we need to assign our tenant and its web link so this is the tenant and this is the web link so what what does mean by tenant so generally tenants is the development environment like c4c dev is the tenant then c4c test c4c production so we call it tenant it is a development environment and the backend is s4 hana and through sap hci module we can replicate the data so it is the middleware between c4c and s4 hana and these are the ui screens which supports by c4c like silver light html5 fury so this is the tenants and this is the ui types then after installation of the cloud application studio the look and feel will be like this like here we can create our solutions inside our studio this is the repository view this is the document window and if any error will come so we can see here and we can find the property here these are the tools so this is the overall look and feel of the sap cloud application studio and software development kit overview so we have a repository explorer which will help us to check the available standard features provided by sap in repository explorer we have a node called root so here we can find the extended features provided by the sap then data types what data type supports by our studio we can find the list from here these are the types of the data types so for the access address mail this is the data type then further after developments or for extended applications we have a enhancement options available to do any further changes we have a body we have a body available for the enhancement options for the c4c screen we have a inbound service interfaces which contains the extended service interface available which can be used into external systems for external systems connectivity we have a inbound service interfaces available and here we can reuse the ui screen for the custom developments like ec ovs so these are the screen types which we can reuse for the custom developments and cloud application studio 
key features. We can define business objects, we can generate and tune UI, we can generate web services, tracing and debugging, session management. So these are the key features of the cloud application. Then what the language supported here, scripting languages is BODL, ABSL. BODL is a business object definition languages. So this is this is the properties of BODL like nodes. Nodes are sub part of a BO business object and they may have the cardinalities which are specified like 0 is to 1, 0 is to n in their definition. Then elements and alternative key. Elements are attributes of a business object like name, phone number, then messages. Messages are used to display an error or warning or validation purposes. Then actions. Actions are custom defined scripts which must be triggered manually. Then association. Association are unidirectional relations between two nodes where we need to define cardinality in associations. Then ABSL, ABAP scripting languages. So from here, we can create our files. We can create script files, types of scripts like action events. Through ABSL script supports crude operation queries, like we can create, read, update, delete. So these kind of operations we can do here through scripting languages in our C4C. Then types of screens for desktops and tablets. So this kind of screens, it supports. So we can create screens as per our requirements. If we are using for the desktop and smartphones, so this kind of screens we can create here. So this is the, through this a small video, I tried to explain about the look and feels of the studio. So hope you enjoyed this video. So kindly subscribe and share it. I will try to create some more practical videos for on C4C. So please keep watching my channel. Thank you.